Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here, coming to you with an upcycle video. Um, I had been thinking about this project for a while, and I just didn't know when or where or what to do. <laughs> um, but I had been looking at, you know, some old videos of mine, um, particularly my Christmas tour video, um, when I showed this particular spot in the house. And, you know, I don't know, it had... It had me thinking. So today I was sitting and I was supposed to be resting, <laughs> but um, I couldn't sit. I couldn't sit still. I couldn't sit idle. So I figured since I have a three day weekend, you know, let me do a little work. So I decided to get up and do a little bit of upcycling. So the particular area or, you know, piece that I was working with was my fireplace. Now, for those who are new to the channel, um, I do have a real wood burning fireplace in my home. Uh, the fireplace has never been used. This home has been in my family since before my birth and even my grandparents didn't burn anything in the fireplace. And so um, when after my grandmother had passed, my dad had asked me if I want to have a um, insert put in, you know, and I said no, um, because I just knew I wasn't going to be burning the fire, you know, even if it was electrical, I didn't want it, so I just said no. Um, so then, years later, I would say about mm, maybe seven years later, after my dad had asked me that, one day I was working, Miss Penny and I, we were talking, and we heard something. And I know, I know my house. I said, that's not right. So what I did was I blocked the fireplace and I left. Um, called my dad, called my husband. They're just like, yeah, okay, why'd you leave the house? I'm like, um, because there's something in the fireplace. Well, long story short, we got a squirrel in the fireplace. What happened was, um, a few months before this incident, um, uh, there was a bad tornado in my area and it had knocked off these caps that we had put onto the chimney. And so, you know, Squirrels do what they do and fell his little tail down my chimney and scared me half to death. Well, with that happening, I was so terrified that I had boss man seal off my fireplace. I said, seal it off. I don't care. I'm not going to ever use it. You know, if we ever sell, then whoever buys can unseal it, but we're going to seal it off. So it's been sealed off probably for the last six to seven years. And it's been an eyesore. Like, when I look over there, it's an eyesore. When I look at the gate that goes in front or whatever, I don't even know what you call those. I guess it's a gate. When I look at the gate, the gate is so old and weathered that I'm just like, ugh, I really want a new one. I really want a black one. So I have been seeing them, but, you know, it's just been a little too much out of my price range. And I just said, well, you know, whatever. So, um... The, all this week, this week, last week, I've been looking at that fireplace and I kept saying, you know, if if there was something black back there as opposed to the big silver, um, it wouldn't look so bad to me. And I said, and then if the gate was black, it wouldn't look so bad either. So I decided to upcycle my front entry of my fireplace. Now, I did not remove the sealing off piece of it. I left everything, that steel sheet that's up there drilled into the brick, it's still there. But, as you can see, I got paint on my nails. <laughs> anyway, um, but I decided to um, change the look of the, the front of the, the metal, you know, so that it's all black. So, when you look at it, it just looks like... It looks like it's just an open fireplace because it's black now. It's not silver. Um, so I did do that as well as um, I painted the gate. I was going to just like, you know, just say forget it and let me get a different gate. But then I got to thinking because the gates I've been seeing, they just don't seem as heavy as mine. Now, mine is old school. So... You know, for my younger subscribers, I'm sorry to tell you, but anything old school is the best because <laughs> it's just hands down. Old school cars, old school fireplace gates, yes. So it's really heavy. It's a really heavy metal. And I said, you know, I still want that heavy metal against, you know, the the steel plate that's up against the, the brick. Now... With me saying that, we did get the chimney recapped. Um, actually, it just was done the week of our anniversary. Um, 
So yeah, it took a while to get that done because we couldn't get no contractors to go up there and seal it off. But uh, we finally got somebody who was willing to go up there, you know, and they put the cap back on. So I'm securing the fact that nothing else will come down that chimney, but I'm not on sealing that front end, <laughs> front end tree. I'm just, no, mm -mm. I need to have peace of mind. I need to be able to sleep at night. So yeah. So anyway, um, I'm going to give you the full reveal of the fireplace when I do my home decor tour for fall and Christmas and stuff like that. You'll get to see it then. Um, one of the two videos, I'm not sure which one. More than likely Christmas for sure. Not sure about fall. But anyway, um, but what I did in the, in the meantime, I did paint the gate as well as the, the broom and the little pick. And, uh, so I want to show you what that looks like. And I'm going to show you the before because the color before was, um, it wasn't brass because brass is more bright, more of a bright color. It was like an antique gold, I guess you would say. But, you know, over the years it just, you know, got old and dusty and whatever. So I washed it and I spray painted it. And the paint that I use, which you guys all know that I love, the Rust-Oleum Special Lacquer High Luster Coating. <laughs> <laughs> this is my go-to for everything metal in my house. I love this paint, and I will continue to buy it. So anyway, um, I painted the gate, so I'm going to show you what that looks like, as well as the broom and the pick. And then, like I said, I'll show you the before and the after. So I'll show you the before, what it looks like, before it got painted, and then the after. And then uh, I also will show you a picture of what the... Um, what the fireplace looked like with the silver, uh, silver metal behind the gate. What that looked like. You won't be able to see a full on view, but, um, it'll be a picture from Christmas, but you'll be able to see it behind the decorative boxes. You'll see that silverness behind there. And I just, I don't know. I, um, I must be getting that, that O word. <laughs> I'll put that on the screen. I will not say it, but anyway, because now I'm starting to get set in my ways and I want this and this is what I want and I want to have it like that. And so Bossman's like, hands off, go for it. So, <laughs> so hang tight guys and I'm going to show you um, what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the after. This is what it looks like. So this is a very old style um, gate that goes in front of the fireplace. Um, and I have it, I'm not standing looking at it straight on. So let me turn this way here. But, um, so there it goes there. And I just have it sitting out in the backyard. I got all my flowers, as you can see, sitting around it, holding the plastic down. Um, here are the two pieces I was talking about, the pick and the broom. So I just spray painted the handles and things black as well. Um, I didn't do two coats of paint. And the reason being is that I don't want it to be super shiny. Um, because it is a high luster uh, paint that I use a high gloss paint so um, I wanted to look somewhat matte uh, and so you can kind of still see a little bit of the the antiqueness underneath which is fine I just want to change the color just a little bit so this is what I have been doing today as just a Saturday <laughs> afternoon project um, so yeah so I just want to show you what I've been doing here uh, but you'll see the actual reveal during my, I'm not sure if it'll be during the fall decor tour or the Christmas decor tour, one or the other. But yes, you'll get to see it live and in person where it's supposed to be. But right now it's still drying, so I have to leave it outside. So thank you for watching and I'll see everybody in a new video. Bye-bye.